I just got a letter. I just got a letter. I just got a letter. Who is it from? Okay, so <clears throat> welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. I got a package, a package from my dear friend Andy B, aka Wumble Bumble B, here on the YouTube and the Twitter <clears throat> and the Instagram and the Twitch. We're gonna open it up. Okay. I have to cut right through this. We totally thought that we were gonna lose this package because customs didn't like the wording that they used on the package, so it was a whole thing. I may be cutting to the bottom of the box. <laughs> that just occurred to me. Hi, JJ girl. How are you doing today? I got a Christmas present from Wumble Bumblebee. And I don't know if I'm technically supposed to be opening it, but it's Christmas. It's the season. So, even if I'm not supposed to be opening it, she isn't here to tell me no, so. <laughs> Unless she is here. She doesn't want me to open it. She should speak now or forever hold her peace because the package is open. Chocolate bomb. Oh, wow. You guys. Privilege. This is real privilege right here. <laughs> oh, she knows that I love Terry's chocolate orange. Made with real chocolate and orange oil. Oh, this is the dark chocolate one. I was like, this looks different. Oh, there's the milk chocolate one. I've never had the dark chocolate one. That's so exciting. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, and we have uh, Terry's Chocolate Orange Snowballs. Ooh, that's cute. Oh, my goodness. What else do we have in here? Oh, it's a cute little watercolor palette. Oh, that's too cute. How does one open this? Is there a magic secret? Oh, you have to be smarter than the box. <laughs> that's the magic secret. Oh, 
comes with a little Miss Windsor and Newton. Oh, fancy. Oh, man, you guys know that I've been doing art lately. And if you don't know that I haven't been doing art lately, you need to check out my uh, Instagram. Or the Discord. Because I have been really arting it up over there. Whoo, the cutest, shiniest brush you ever saw in your whole life. Oh, that is so cute. And it comes with 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12 different colors. I'm going to have to break my, my magnifying glass out. <clears throat> Lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, pale hue, alizarin crimson, ultramarine, cerulean, Chinese white, burnt umber, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, sap green, and viridian. Oh, those letters were tiny. I think they were the tiniest letters I ever saw in my whole life. Wow. I like something else in this thing. Oh, a little guide. A little color guide. Oh, it shows you what the colors look like. <coughs> That's what some of the colors look like. Upside down, upside down, and backwards. Can't read any of that. I'll have to break out my spectacles. Yay! I am so excited. Like, <laughs> you guys don't even know. Like, I have been thinking thoughts about doing watercolor painting for some time now. Put that in that box and put that there. Oh my goodness, what else do we have? Talk about Christmas. This is D-E-A. And it's got a little B on it. Oh my gosh. That's the cutest little book. And it's got 80 sheets of 80 GSM ruled paper. Very nice. This is excellent. <laughs> this is Oxford black and red. Oh yes. This is nice. This is Oxford optic paper. I think I have some of this. Let's see. Well, this is watercolor paper, piece of watercolor paper. Oh, it's Happy Halloween. Well, they kill all decorations that we learned on Halloween. Hope it doesn't scare your pants off. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I love it. That's going on my wall. <laughs> Ooh, we have some watercolor brushes. Very nice. Very nice. We have a... Color Tech... Color Technir... Color... Color Technique. Color Technique. A round number five brush. What round number five? We have an angle color technique number thirteen. Very nice. And we have a color technique round number eleven. Oh, that's soft. That's so nice. Hi, Wumble Bumblebee. You didn't answer my messages, so I didn't know if I wasn't supposed to open this till Christmas. But I couldn't wait. <laughs> Here we have a little new eco book. Wow. 
I will definitely add this to the list if it passes the tests. And then we have a little letter. Can I open this on camera or should I wait till Christmas? What is it? It's a It's a What is this? There are some Christmas sweeties. Let us all for you to enjoy. Oh, thank you. What is this? <laughs> is this um is this to be opened? Oh, it's a wrap art. Okay. Okay. I was like, is this a piece of art in itself? I can never tell these days. I've been watching some really weird people on the internet lately who think that they can take a garbage pile and make it into art. I don't know. I was very confused for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> the entrance eludes me. I'm like trying to be gentle because I don't know where the art starts and the wrapping stops. And I don't want to put any knives in there just in case, you know. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I see. This is one of those things that. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, there's a turtle. Oh. I thought they'd be bigger. Why did I think they would be bigger? Oh, look at how cute he is. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, and there's another one in here, too. Oh, this is that forest scene. Why did I think these would be bigger? I thought you said these were supposed to be three inches. That is three inches. Don't tell my boyfriend. <laughs> he would think that this was eight inches. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's going on the wall. And then this is the this is the beehive that I I purchased. Look at how beautiful it is. Ah, oh, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's going right up here, right in front of me, where I can look at it all the time. And then this, I think this is my Christmas present. I don't know how to get it out, though. I don't want to bend it. Oh, I'm going to have to get crafty. And look at that dragon. Oh, I bumped you. Now you're upside down. Sorry about that. Wow. This is amazing. Look at that. That's incredible. The detail is just so awesome. You guys, if you are not following Wumble Bumblebee on the Twitch, she makes art every Friday and Saturday. 
And, like, she has a Etsy store where you can buy this art. I believe it's Etsy.com slash Wumble Bumblebee, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, man. These are so cool. Dash shop. Dash. Wumble Bumblebee. Nope. Okay, where is it? Friends Etsy store. Why can't I find your thing? Let's okay, what about your Twitch? Is it on your Twitch? I think it is. I can find it. I am a brilliant scientist. I can't find anything. Yes. Oh, Wumble's Hive. No wonder I couldn't find it proper. Alexa, stop. If you are interested in purchasing some art from... Wumble Bumblebee, check out her, check out her horse. No, check out her Etsy store. She has all of these beautiful pieces of art, and they're like not that expensive. And they're like, what is this one? This one is almost six inches, five and three quarters of an inch. They are amazing. So check out her links. I will leave her Etsy store. And her Instagram. Friends. Instagram. Copy. Paste. And her Twitch channel in the description so you guys can come and hang out with us on Friday and Saturday evenings because she does arts. And it's like really good, really good. Copy. Okay, it's in the description, so go check her channel out. Leave her some love. Give her thanks for all of these wonderful treats. Oh, I'm just so grateful. Oh, man. I really like this Halloween card. I like this paper, too. It's soft. What paper did you use here? What is this called? It looks really feathery. But I especially like this bumblebee. This bumblebee and all of these things are going on my wall. I have a specific corner dedicated to the people who give me art. That's my art corner over there, of people who give me art. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm thinking thoughts about moving my Marilyn Monroe up there, or over there, or over there. And I want to put this one over here with my mermaid that I got. I won from Little Red Draws. I won that Little Mermaid from Little Red Draws. And I want to put this dragon kind of under my other dragon. 
we'll see. I haven't quite worked out where I want to put this stuff yet. I'm think I'm I might move my art around. I need to I need to do like a decluttering. It just sucks when you do a decluttering because then you look you go look for something or you want to look you want to look at something like say a, a piece of friend's art and then you can't find it. <laughs> I did a, a small decluttering of art and um, moved art around and now I can't find it. <laughs> okay, so yay, I'm really excited for these. I cannot wait to do some art with this. So, uh, mm, I wanted to ask you, is that paper, this stuff here? This looks like the watercolor that I use. I just got another ream today, as a matter of fact, from the Amazon man. Oh, there's things in here. Oh, no, this is just paper. <clears throat> This is book, bookie, Bockingford. Oh, this is the fancy stuff. This is cold press watercolor paper. <clears throat> I can tell this is cold press. And this is hot press. Because it's smoother. Ooh, I am so excited. Like, I don't even know what to play with first. Black and red notebook. This is 90 GS, 90 GSM, 80 GSM. Does it say? <clears throat> It doesn't say. Uh, Oxford Optic Paper. I don't know what GSM it is. Might be 90 GSM. Might be 80 GSM. It might be in a small detail that I can't see right now because I'm too excited. <laughs> but yes, I'm definitely going to try out all of these things. I am really excited about it. And I'm really glad to have one of these because I'm thinking thoughts about doing uh, a different type of a bullet journal where I just write things down and then write a check mark next to them. So that's going to be useful. I like that a lot. And then this. <clears throat> this might go in the in the rotation in the ink rotation. This is from CVS. No, that's CV5. Never mind. Nucro International Vibe Eco B5 Stitched Notebook. Okay, let's take let's let's do a little experiment. Yay. Okay. That's looking very nice so far. It's, a, it's, 
it looks to be like absorbing the paper in this way instead of this way. Wow. Definitely made the sparkle in it pop for sure. Wow. I like how it's like not, sp it's not, it is feathering just a little bit, but like not, not terribly. <clears throat> it's being well absorbed into the paper, which is great. I love paper that absorbs ink good. <clears throat> <clears throat> what is this? This is Monte Verde. Yosemite. Yosemite Green. I wish the sparkles were bigger, but <clears throat> I don't know. The shimmer in this one is weak. Weak! I need to find bigger sparkles. Sub-Zero does not like this paper at all. It's like... <clears throat> oh, it sure shows off the shimmer, though. Come out wherever you are. that a lot. <clears throat> All right, broad nib. Let's see, what is this? Month or drop of violet. Ice Age. What 
Oh dear. Throwing pens around again. That was so light I didn't barely didn't even feel it. Let's see. Krishna Mountain Breeze. I like this paper. It feels kind of like watercolor. This feels like this. Oh, this is BPC Chimney Soot. Birmingham Pen Company. Chimney Soot. And then last but not least, we have Montegrappa Red. quick peek, see what we're working with here, zoom in so we can see what we're dealing with, very nice, a pelican did feather, a diamine did feather, the Maryland didn't feather, which I totally thought that it would, Montegrappa had a little bit of spread, Krishna Mountain Breeze was relatively cooperative, White Rabbit spread, Chimney Soot was fine, Montegrappa spread just a little bit. Let's take a look at the back of this page. Might not be able to use the back of the page, but the front of the page is just fine. Perfect. This might be, uh, this might, might have to go into the, into the rotation. I don't know long term it is kind of feathery and I think it might be recycled paper I can't tell though it says eco I don't know if that stands for economic or recycled printed using vegetable based inks all right then well this is going to be an excellent addition to our Testing. Yes. I wanted to show something that I got in the mail yesterday. I didn't get till this morning. So my friend Michelle sent me this thing and I was like, what is this? I was like, somebody smushed a card and I'm like, oh, oh nope. It's a 3D card. Check that out. Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen in your whole life? It's a Christmas scene. That is so bloody cool. I couldn't believe it. This is definitely going on my piano. This is piano top worthy, I'm telling you. I couldn't believe it when I got it. I was like, what is this? It looked like it was all smushed and smashed. But with just a little love and care, I brought it. Uh, and even inside of the little windows, you can see a Christmas scene. Isn't that cool? Totally 3D. Even in the little windows. So cool. One of the coolest treats I've gotten this year. So cool. I wanted to show you all that. 
this is definitely going on my Christmas on my uh, piano for Christmas. And then last but not least, I got something boring. I got stove top stuffing with low sodium. Did you know that they consider low sodium to be 200 milligrams? Honey, that's not low sodium. That's like normal amount of sodium. 10 milligrams. Now that would have been low sodium. Ugh, and I love stuffing. But there are all so many sodiums. Okay, I definitely want to play with this. Should we play with this? Can we play with this? Or should I wait till Christmas time? So, I want to show you my, my brush collection. Don't laugh, Arlene. Don't laugh. These are my shitty brushes that I got from the 99 cent store in Walmart. This is my fanciest brush. It cost me four whole dollars. And it's got like a rubber bit on the end of it that I use for putting sparkles on. <laughs> it's a color shaper. Royal Sovereign Limited UK Edition. Wumble Bumblebee, you would like this brush. And this is the finest 99 cent store angle brush that I could find. And I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna make you make it sound bad, but this one's wiggly. And this one is not. <laughs> Why do they wiggle? Are they like trying to kill me? Do I have a crimping device? I don't like that it's wiggly. Is that like a feature? Hmm. I don't know. This color technique brush though, this uh, round number 11 brush is super soft and fancy. And this number five brush is very soft and fancy. These are all very soft and fancy. This one feels like real hair. It looks kind of synthetic, but it might be real hair. I can't tell. But also my fake brushes are also very fluffy. I should send you a set of these. They're like shitty, but they're not... They're like high quality. This is my number three round brush. It's got a few wiggly bits in it. Which, I don't know what to do to get rid of it. This is our finest angled brush. You can't even read the lettering on it because it's so old. Anyway, these are my shitty brushes. This one has a jelly thing on it. This is for like throwaway brush. These are my throwaway brushes in case they damage them. Sometimes I use them for doing uh, ink swatches. And sometimes I just use a, a Q-tip. Okay, I want to use a tiny brush. Let's use this one. Okay, I need to get some water.
Okay, I should put the art somewhere far away so I'm not going to get any water on it. I'm going to put these chocolates in the freezer. Oops. That way I don't eat them all at once. Chocolate is away. <clears throat> Let's break out some watercolor paper. Oh, that's my last slice. I still haven't done an ink review today. <clears throat> Bought this today. This is Canson 300G 140-pound watercolor paper. 30 sheets for $9.00 on Amazon. I could have got it for a dollar cheaper if I went to the actual store, but I'd have to go all the way across the county. That's like 10 miles on a bus. It'd take me three hours to get there. No thank you. No thank you very much. Okay. I am excited. See, I've gotten to play with, like, Crayola watercolors, and I got to play with those other types of watercolors, but these are real watercolors. How does one go about opening these? Is there a trick? It probably is. The trick is eluding me. Scalpel. All right. Oh, I see. Oh, don't lose this. Oh, I'm in yellow. I need to make Is there instructions on the back how to use these? Oh god, okay, don't laugh, Arlene, don't laugh. <clears throat> Contains embit. May produce an allergic reaction containing biocidal product. Risk of skin irritation. Might help if I washed off my glasses every now and then. <clears throat> there, now I can see through the dust. Oh, it just says contains some sort of chemical. Um, don't eat it, Arlene, don't eat it.
All right, I've got the fix of Finidine on standby. I need my I need my those things that go around your neck to hold your glasses. That's what it needs. I need to go to the 99 cent store. Ramble, ramble, ramble. It's gonna take me all night to get through these. What was I gonna do? I was gonna tape this. That's what I was gonna do. Probably use a brush. That's very lemon-like. Mustard. Don't let be silly. No, lemon, that's different. I think that's about how people do it. I'm going to be on for a very long time. Scalpel. Oh, I see it usually sticks to the plastic. Oh, no, it doesn't. Never mind. one is cadmium yellow. And I did this one backwards. Oh well. Next. <clears throat> this one is. Cadmium Red Pale.
Oops. I don't know if there's any specific technique to this, but I'm trying to give it my all. Lizarin Crimson. Oh, I made it to the silence button in time. sneezing. It always gives me a start. Christmasy red color. Oops. I'll cut that one from the wrong angle. No, maybe. I don't <clears throat> this one is Eltramarine. Eltramarine. Did you ever get around to uh, listening to that song? Red, 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 blue, 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 red, purple, green, yellow, on red, 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 blue, 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 red, purple, green, yellow, on red, red. Blend them all and what do you get? Cherry shot to some arc. Oh, 
Quo, Mao, Vision, El Trimarine, and every color in between. So, the non-chillum bum color has its harmony, and just like I have said, red, yellow, red, red, pink, green, white, and black, and blue, green, white, and the two ends of on white and black and plaid. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that was my impression of Louis Von Drake and his Technicolor Spectrum song from the 80s. Of the 1980s, that is. It was one of my favorite songs growing up because it taught us all about the colors. I didn't even know what ultramarine was. I mean, red, yellow, green, red, blue, blue, blue. Yeah, we get those. And then he goes, uh, red, yellow, green, red, blue, pink, green, white, and plaid, and blue. Red, yellow, green, red, blue, 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 red, cup, green, yellow, and red, red. Red, yellow, green, red, blue, 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 red, cup, green, yellow, and red. Blend them all, and what do you get? Sorry, shut to send aqua. Mauve beige and ultramarine. Who knows what color beige is? I didn't know what color beige is at the time. I didn't know what color aqua was at the time either. This is a cerulean. And if you look at the video <clears throat> on YouTube, it'll actually show you what the colors is. Beige is mashed potatoes, exactly. Beige is mashed potatoes, exactly. But what color is plaid? Plaid's not a color. <laughs> Isn't plaid white and black or a pattern of colors? Checkered pattern? Isn't that plaid? I don't know. Oh, that fell right out of, out of its little bucket. Have to be very careful with these that so I don't break them. <laughs> that is something. I can't see that word behind the stupid heart. Tartan. I don't know what that means. This is cerulean, cerulean blue. It's a very nice sky blue, if I ever saw one. No wonder people like cerulean for the sky. And pretty blue eyes. There's a joke in the UK to send to inappropriate for tartan skirt paint. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, this is becoming difficult. There. Let's go.
I also learned that cerise means cherries in French. So whatever color that French cherries are, <clears throat> they're somewhere between a red, a pink, and a purple. This is Viridian Green. That puck looks very dark. Making a mess. I'm making a mess over here, which I don't want to do. What did I do with my brush? Where'd you go? There you are, you're hiding. Stop hiding. One of the great things about watercolor, if you didn't know, is that if you want to pick it up off the page, all you have to do is wet it, let it soak in for two or three seconds, and then dab it up. Most, well, I should say most watercolors. Some are not that easy to get up. Okay. I think I'm going to change water buckets. So I don't mix my red and my green and get black. Or vice versa and get white. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, -hoo. that is really pretty. This one is my favorite color so far. I really like this lemon yellow, though. And that turned that a really pretty color, too. <laughs> These are the tiniest little buckets I have ever seen, and this will probably last me the rest of my life if I'm lucky. And again, I may become a world famous watercolor artist. Watch out, Wumble Bibble, Wumble Bumblebee. <laughs> Just kidding. I've gotten pretty creative in the last two and a half months. Far more creative than I've ever been with the rest of my life. I've always been a pretty good sewer, but only on the insides, if you know what I mean. All right, this one is sap green. Oh, hell yeah. And have the way the rice with nice watercolors so much nice to create. Exactly, exactly. <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm going to do with these colors yet. I want to find a printer that will print on watercolor paper. So I can print a design on the watercolor paper with my Procreate. <clears throat> or so I can take a picture that I've created and take out all of the color and just leave the lines 
and print out the lines on the watercolor paper. So maybe you guys can color along with me. Oops. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get excited. Have a nice cup of tea. Ooh, this one's kind of a murky green color. This was sap green. Ooh. Okay, this is my least of the favorite colors so far. I mean, I suppose it has it'll have its uses. It's very sap like. This yellow ochre is going to be exciting. Yellow ochre? Yes, yellow ochre. I like some of these. If you know where to put the knife in, then you just cut right down and it, break, and it opens it right up for you. Windsor and Newton are one of ones I use all the time. All right. I wish now that I would have gotten two of those sets that I made the tree with. <clears throat> I did that really pretty rainbow tree uh, sunset setting. I wish I'd have gotten more of those before they went moldy or before they disappeared from the 99 cent store. Okay, I'm going to get some more water because now we're going back the other way. I don't want to make brown and brown. I wonder if Office Depot, Office Max, Office, I wonder if an office supply store might be able to print on watercolor paper. I understand that there are limitations to the thought, but there is no stopping my imagination. I'm like Mickey Mouse and Fantasmic. <laughs> Ooh. This yellow ochre is kind of a creepy color. Ooh. It's like a dirty yellow. I like how this brush stays nice. Is this real hair? Not that I care, but is this sable, sable, or chinchilla hair? <clears throat> I recently saw this lady. She said that if you're gonna buy brushes. And you have like ten dollars to spend on one brush that you should get a sable hair brush because they're very cooperative. I don't know why. They should be able 
two most desktop printers can actually proper print machine. Yeah, but my printer comes comes down like this and then scoops under and I don't want to bend the paper. It's meant for printer paper, which is loose. But this stuff is this stuff is very stiff. <laughs> it's like cardboard. I don't want to touch them right now because otherwise I will. Okay, so if I cut the opposite corner, no, I want this. So if I cut on this corner this way, so if I cut the direction that it tells you to, you should be able to, yep, just take it right off. That is very useful. So, <clears throat> I will have to demonstrate that on the next one. All right. There is a little there is a little tiny arrow. If you're doing this like I am and you want the barcode to be at the bottom, it shows you that there's like a little recycle symbol. If you put your scalpel underneath this corner and cut around this way, if you put your scalpel in this underneath here, and cut around this way then you should be able to pull it all off in one go because they all seem to be doing the same thing which is nice because some people are make their own pots I guess and they're all different I have seen people struggle so hard with getting these to be consistent but I've had no problem once I figured out the little trick okay I didn't even look at the color burnt sienna I put my watercolor paper through the photocopier at work okay is it a flat photocopier or is it like a Like a, I don't know how to put this. Um, <clears throat> is it ones that rolls it? Because I don't want to roll it. I want it to. Uh, I want it to be. Uh, flat okay so here is the little corner with the, with the cut off <clears throat> I'm gonna stick my scalpel in just underneath this little and oh try not to slice my hand off and I'm gonna slice around this way and then this whole thing just comes right off super nice and then you just peel that little bit off and you have a tag This one is burnt umber. Burnt umber. Mm 
can I fit two more in there? Mm, no, I'm going to go down here. Mm, burnt Umber. This one was Burnt Sienna. Alexa, stop. Oop, I've been going for two hours. An hour and 16 minutes. Uh, uh, <clears throat> time is it? It's 7 o'clock. I have an hour to do an ink review. I haven't done an ink review today because I had a, a mishap with my medicines. And so I had to reserve my energy so I could go to the pharmacy to pick them up so I slept until 2.30 this afternoon. And that is a lot of sleeping. Okay, so I have this white ink. <coughs> and I have black paper. What do I do with the black paper? Oh yes, I have black paper. Eh. This is an archer and olive. No, but look at that cute little haunted broom. It's got black paper. Look at how beautiful it is. With the gold. I think I'm actually going to tear this page out. Okay, maybe not. I might tear just this last page out then. There, that's fine. Because I just need a corner. I just need a corner. smaller corner. I have been watching a murder mystery from the 80s called Murder She Wrote with Angela Lansbury. Oh no, my phone decided to die. Oh jeez. Please stand by. At this time, we are having technical difficulties. Our show will resume in just a moment. I wasn't thinking of the celery phone. Stupid celery phone. Da how dare you die on me! Beating you with a stick. Can't you see that I'm busy? I have to wait for it to charge just a little bit so I can use it again because otherwise it will keep doing it. <clears throat> Jessica Fletcher, that's right. She was a really observant person. And when I was growing up, I used to think that I was Jessica Fletcher because I could tell what was going on. And I I would straight up tell them. I'm like, I know that this thing's going to happen. And they're like, that thing isn't going to happen. I don't know what you're talking about. And then that thing would happen. And then they'd be like, how did you know? And I'm like, hey, man, I'm just using my eyes. I can't help it. 
Don't yell at me for using my eyes and telling you about the shit that was about to happen. You didn't, it just ignored me. Because I'm just a child. I don't know nothing. So if you guys have Amazon Plus, you can watch Murder, She Wrote on YouTube Prime. On, U on Amazon Prime. YouTube Prime. Alright, are you done yet? Can I have some? It still says 0%. Will it even let me turn you on? Maybe. I'm plugged into a really fast charger, so I totally spaced out and forgot to plug you guys in. Why didn't you remind me? Just kidding. It's not your fault. Oh. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. On the black, very well. It's mixing white, so it's translucent. Oh, it's translucent. We will see about that. It says Chinese white. I mean, Chinese white is supposed to be one of the whitest whites out there. So, I mean, the only other white that I am familiar with is an ink called P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White, which is very white. I think it's technically gouache, but I don't know what it is. It's paint. That's what it is. Eh. Okay, where did you go? Stop hiding. I demand it. We prove why he's hiding from me. No, they're not going to show it. Where did you go? You stop hiding. I'll beat you with a stick. really hidden good. Can't even find it. Oh, there it is. I didn't know you were in here somewhere. Stop hiding. Here it is. It says... And now back to our regular scheduled programming. See, it says P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White since 1934. May be harmful if swallowed. Uh, keep out of reach of children. First aid. Call this number. Blah, blah. blah. Oceanside, California. At any rate, this is the white that we use for calligraphy. It's mostly, it's mostly some sort of clear substance. Oops, it's flaking off on my things. <clears throat> okay, now back to our regular scheduled programming. All right, bleed. Pr I mean, Chinese white. Let's see how white this is. Please be white. Please, please be white. Ha ha! It is white.
Yeah, this isn't very opaque. It's very translucent. This is like for highlighting and probably mistake having. <laughs> Now, just for giggles and snorts, we're going to do a little experiment. How long is this? Okay. It's a little bit longer than that. Uh, where's my extra, extra, extra fine? P H. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. Dang it. I need more surface. I'm running out of space on my desk to put things. It never ends. It never ends. Okay, so this one I need my I need my dip pen. That's what it needs. I need my dip pen. That's the easiest thing to clean off. Now because it's a semi liquid, it's got this lick it's got this clear layer on top. And this very opaque a layer underneath, and I'm gonna move these things out of the way really quick and put this underneath it because it's really crunchy. It's really crunchy, and it looks like it's even rusting a little bit. But as you can see, there's like a liquidy layer in there. And then I'm gonna use the back of my tip nib to swirl this schmutz in it. I don't know if this is oil or if it's... I don't know what this is. All I know is that it's made for doing corrections and it's some sort of paint. I just give it a little whizzle in there a little while just to make sure that things are well. Look how thick that is. Oops, can't even see what I'm talking about. Look how thick that is. Giant glob of ink on the bottom. Okay. Wipe this off. even take some formula 409 to get her off and by formula 409 I mean spit okay. now because this is such a not this type of pen friendly I'm gonna use one of my shitty pens because I don't care if they get broken. <laughs> I don't want them to even touch this stuff. I don't want it to be anywhere near that stuff. Oops, I got green in there too. Dang it, I didn't think to wash the brush before I used it.
as you can see, this is extremely opaque. Extremely opaque. I think it might be considered a gouache, but I don't know. All I know is it is turning my water milky white. And even then, it's pretty, pretty opaque. So if you're thinking thoughts about getting some of this, I would highly recommend it. This is great stuff for doing away with errors. Uh, if you're like a calligrapher, it's great for doing black on uh, white on black. If you're an artist, it's great for doing mistakes on white paper of course and it's great for doing highlight if you're like <clears throat> oh yes it's definitely permanent but the lid as you can see is really crunchy I don't know what to do about the crunchy so I just try and wipe it off as best as possible, but sometimes it's not always it comes off. And it comes off in these little chunks. It's like a clay almost. I'm just going to take and wash my uh, lid. Oops, there goes the box. Just in case this is mold. Comes off with soap, so that's good. And when you first get it, it has a sealing, it has a silicone ring, so you don't have to worry about evaporation. But if you scratch the uh, top, the lid is made of iron, so it will rust. Something to consider. Make sure it's tight and then don't turn it upside down, whatever you do. Don't turn it upside down. I remember this is why it was over here, so I couldn't turn it upside down on accident. Okay, there. It goes back where it was. <coughs> Is acrylic then gouache isn't permanent? It's a it's acrylic then gouache is isn't permanent. Okay. Well, it does come off with soap, and most things come off with soap. This thing in the bin. Just touch anything else.
still wet. These are the colors that we have going. I may come back tomorrow and see if I can re-liquify these colors or nah. Yep, that's what I got going there. That way before I stab myself. Put this away before I stab myself. If you guys are hobbyists, don't bother with hobby knives. Don't get hobby knives. Get a real stainless steel scalpel. This thing, I've had this scalpel for like a year now. And I got a pack of five of them. But if you get one of the crappy hobby scalpels, they're like done in a month. Maybe two months. They might last you a year. If you like really make sure and dry it good but that thing has lasted me well over a year I haven't even thought about buying opening another scalpel and I got it from Amazon so something food for thought <coughs> uh oh somebody's writing me a message someone's writing me a message someone's writing me a message it's my BFF Jill, it's my BFF, Jill. Her name's actually Lunalicious. <laughs> All right. Well, I will pro You know, I definitely want to try this little pen, this little tiny brush. Oh, my God, it's so cute. Like, the cuteness level of this brush is just to die for. And it's got gum arabic on it, so I don't want to break its... Oh, it's just the... Oh, so cute. I'm like dying over here. I cannot wait to try these out. I am super thankful to our dear friend Wumble Bumblebee. Thank you so much for the package. I really appreciate it. You guys are the reason that I do these things I look forward to me getting my art on with all of these wonderful colors. I am really looking forward to playing with some of these inks. I cannot wait. So, I got some paint brushes. I'm going to have to start looking into some art things. This brush, however, I don't know, it's wiggly. It's not great. I'm going to try and break it. I'm going to try and do the thing where you squish it on the thing. I made it worse. I'm gonna have to glue this in. That just like fell out. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to glue that in. Hmm, you know what, let's do it now. While I'm thinking about it. So 
Otherwise, the next time I come across this, I'm going to be very cross about it. I don't want to be cross right now. Wait, this is not the gun that I wanted. This is my wax melting gun. Oh, nope, here they are. I put them right on my desk and then I, I lost them. <laughs> okay. 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 <clears throat> Thank goodness that these things are easily fixable. With just a little bit of hot glue and a little bit of knowledge. Because I've had to glue plenty of these crappy brushes together over the years. And that just came right out, didn't it? I wonder why they made these so... Um... I don't want to use the word cheap, but I want to use the word um, non-oval-like. Because if it was an ovular, it would just sit in there. And it wouldn't be able to be twisted at all. But... Put some notches in it so the glue has something to stick to. If you have a needle nose pliers with the teeth in it, that's where it's at. You just squeeze it and you can see it leaves little dents in it. That's the stuff that will stick to the glue. And then you just fill this with glue and stick it in there. And then it'll stick to all those little crevices and hopefully stay. Of course, I gotta make sure and get the orientation in there good. Make sure that that's nice and round. <clears throat> oh, she's almost ready. And that's how you know it's ready. Four good squirts of that. Stick that in there. Ooh, that's hotter than the hinges. Okay, we're going to hold that with that. No more jiggle. Ah, ha, ha, winning. So soft. Okay. <clears throat> I have to unplug this thing. Oh. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Super huge thanks goes out to Wumble Bumblebee for all of the wonderful treats and the beautiful card. I haven't quite gotten your package ready to go yet, and uh, I don't know what I'm waiting for, but I just haven't had enough time. I 
had to straighten out some med things today. <clears throat> and uh, tomorrow I will probably work on your package. And then Friday I will probably get your package out in the mail. So look forward to that. Huge thanks for all of the wonderful uh, books and the paintings. And uh, I will definitely be doing some reviews on these things. So look forward to those. That's all I've got for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Go check out Wumble Bumblebee. Links in the description. Uh, check out my new website. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Come join our calligraphy class. Shit, it's Wednesday. I just realized I totally blew right through the day and didn't do today's Twitch calligraphy class, and I'm sorry for that. I've been really just off the ball today. I will be back another day with an another video. Uh, join our Discord. Come and share your calligraphy with us. And if you would like to save 10% off on your next order, check the link in the description to save 10% off on Pembo Deek. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you. Bye. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Oh, God, an hour and 48 minutes.